Hello, I'm Dr. Tomer Davidov, a surgeon at Penn Medicine Princeton Medical Center. Today I'm going to talk about thyroid nodules and thyroid cancer. The thyroid is a butterfly-shaped endocrine gland that's located in the lower front of the neck. The thyroid's job is to secrete hormones that regulate body metabolism. While most people never think about their thyroid, it's very common for people to have thyroid problems. Patients can have one of two basic conditions, problems with the function of the thyroid gland or problems with the structure of the thyroid gland. Patients who have problems with the function of the thyroid gland can either have too much thyroid hormone, also called hyperthyroidism or Graves' disease, or too little thyroid hormone, also called hypothyroidism or Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Those who have structural problems of the thyroid gland experience nodules or lumps in the gland. This is a fairly common condition. These nodules usually cause no symptoms and are often found during a routine physical exam or identified during an ultrasound CT or MRI of the neck when a physician is trying to diagnose another health problem. Thyroid nodules are benign or non-cancerous a majority of the time, but some thyroid nodules may be cancerous. When a patient has a suspected thyroid nodule, a thyroid ultrasound and a nodule biopsy are usually needed. A typical sign of thyroid nodules is a large lump on the front of the neck. The lump occurs when nodules enlarge the thyroid gland. If the gland becomes enlarged and is it cancerous, it's called a goiter. Patients with a large goiter may experience compressive symptoms such as neck pain, neck pressure, choking, or difficulty swallowing. However, for some patients, the only symptom of the goiter is the lump on the neck. Treatment for a goiter that interferes with the patient's daily life, even if the goiter is benign, is surgery. There are other instances when a patient will need thyroid surgery or thyroidectomy which is the removal of either part or the entire thyroid gland. These include a biopsy that shows thyroid cancer, nodules that have grown so large they're causing compression symptoms, and hyperthyroidism from Graves' disease that doesn't improve with medication. Thyroid cancer is slow growing and in many patients can be cured with surgery alone. A neck ultrasound is performed to better evaluate the thyroid nodule and nearby lymph nodes. If a patient has thyroid cancer involving the lymph nodes, the affected lymph nodes are removed during surgery. In most cases, the hospital stay after thyroid surgery is brief, usually less than 24 hours. After the procedure, patients are required to take lifelong medication to replace the hormones no longer being produced by the thyroid. Other treatments, including a tablet of radioactive iodine, may sometimes be needed after surgery. At Penn Medicine Princeton Medical Center, we have a multidisciplinary group of physicians who have extensive experience treating and curing thyroid cancer. Our medical team includes an experienced endocrine surgeon, multiple endocrinologists, a pathologist that specializes in thyroid cells, radiologists, and medical oncologists. We meet regularly to discuss patient cases to be sure we're tailoring each patient's treatment in a way that leads to the best possible outcome. Anyone who's experiencing the symptoms I described today should contact their primary care physician for a thorough exam. Remember, thyroid problems are very common and also very treatable.